Welcome, Lipsy's Guns fans. We've got a special guest today. We've got the president of the Ruger Owners and Collectors Society and one of the leading experts on Ruger number one rifles, Mr. Lee Newton. Well, thank you, Jason. Yeah, I'm glad you came down. We, uh, you know, Lee and I have been talking for a long, a lot of years now about different number ones. He's been very integral in helping us come up with new models and kind of giving us guidance on which, which cartridges haven't been chambered before. And I always use him as a sounding board on different configurations. So we really appreciate that. But you know, but Lee has got some really cool old Ruger number ones that he brought today to show us. So Lee, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you brought? All right, well, the reason these are important to me is that I'll never forget in October of 2006 when Jason put a post on the campfire says, we've got some 25 out six AHs with 24 inch A weight barrels. I said, my Lord, I gotta have one of those. <laughs> and the reason I knew is that in 1968, Lynn Brownell made up about five special rifles mm -hmm. for special friends that had 24 inch A weight barrels. And at the time, I had one of them. Today I own four of them, I <laughs> five. <laughs> but anyway, I just knew that that extra two inches of barrel on that A weight just made a tremendous It really makes rifle. all the difference. That The balance of that gun completely changes. You know? Completely changes. Yeah, the, the whole reason why that gun came about is that you know, I was kind of mildly, mildly obsessing over um, Dakota number 10s at the, at the time, <laughs> but I wasn't obsessing about the $3,500 price right. tag. So we called number Ruger and said, hey, can, can, we, can we dig something that kind of resembles this gun, a little bit longer barrel, a little bit lighter weight, no sights? And they, they did, and that actually has ended up being really a cult classic in the number one line. There's, there's only one original 68, 1968 Ruger that was made in the H configuration. It was serial number 30 that was made for Vice President Stan Terhune, who was a really, really good friend of, uh, of Lynn Brownell. And I own that rifle. That I didn't bring it today, but I did bring an interesting one here. I'm going to show these people this one. Yeah. This is actually serial number 1000, even, 1000. It's a 270, 24-inch uh, A-weight barrel. Uh, made up for a friend, uh, Lynn Brownell, that lived in Sheridan, Wyoming. Uh, now, Lynn Brownell basically designed... The Lynn Brownell did this, designed the stock work, trained the ladies on how to checker these stocks, and uh, actually made up several rifles for friends. So it took me about 15 years to get this one. But the first one that I got, and you know while we're at it, talking about it, this is the newest Lipsy's exclusive in the 250 Savage. They call it a 1A, but it's a 24-inch A-weight barrel. And I just got to tell you, until you've handled one of these, and most people haven't, because there's yeah. not very many of there's them. Not they're many exclusives of those. and they're yep. limited production. Yep. Until you've handled one of these, you don't know what a really good handling Ruger number one feels like. I mean, it's so light that yep. you can actually, and I do, you can carry it all day long this way. Right. You don't have to carry it here like you do a bolt action. You can carry it just right. like this. So. And that little bit longer barrel, even though you would say, okay, it weighs, uh, you know, ounces, maybe more than a 22 inch gun. By having that barrel hanging out there a little bit longer, the balance of the rifle changes. The balance totally changes. And it changes. makes it carry lighter than it actually it is. It is. I tell people that the 22-inch barrel 1A seems a little bit stubby. Yeah. yeah. That 24-inch barrel, that two extra inches just really changes the handling right. characteristics. Now, you talk about something that does change the handling right. characteristics. Show us about Let this me show one. this one. I acquired this rifle a long time ago, and the old gentleman called me up and says, I got a rear number one with a 25-inch barrel. I said, come on now, there's got to be a story there. He said, well, I've been a friend of Lynn Brownell since childhood. Lynn called me up and said, what do you want me to make you, Chester? He said, I want a 7 millimeter Remington Magnum with a 25-inch A-weight barrel. The only well, one I know of. And it's the only one that I know of made with 25-inch A-weight barrel. And that extra inch just really changes this rifle, but it still just handles so handily compared mm -hmm. to the heavier barrels. You know, when you first told me about that, that barrel length, Lee, I said, man, a, a light sporter weight barrel in 25 is going to be, it's going to be too thin out there. But now actually seeing it, it I really like it. I, I fell in love with this, well, this concept. Well, it's about a .55 at the muzzle. Yeah, okay. which is pretty common in a lot of the, the, the mountain common, style right. rifles of today. So, but I tell you what, you know, these old classic number ones, you know, they, they really do harken back to a time when American gun manufacturing was at its peak. But today, you can still have guns that are built like these. You know, these uh, exclusive number ones we have, like this 250 Savage and a couple of, you know, other ones we've done are out there and are available. So, you know, if, if you really, you know, want to have a rifle that was built like the ones back in 68, you can still get that today. So if you get a chance, go to Lipsies.com and punch in a, your zip code and find a dealer and ask them to order you one. You know, and if you want, need to find an old discontinued one, check out... <laughs> 
Check out Lee's website. What's your, what's your website? Uh, Classic Sporting Arms. Yeah, go to Classic Sporting Arms. Uh, Lee has got a lot of information about a lot of the history of the number ones, different configurations, and he's got a lot of those old number ones for sale there too. So he's a great resource if you want to really hunt down one of these old models. So until next time, aim higher.